find Sam out in 30, kind of vaulted yourself back up somewhere up in the top of the leaderboard. How did you feel today? Yeah, it was a really good round. Um, just kind of struggled the past couple of days, but I knew if I could come out here this morning and post a really good number and kind of get myself back in the mix a little bit, I don't, I don't think I'll be close at the end of the day, but uh, a lot closer than where I started. So. Is there any sense it's firming up at all? Yeah, a little bit. I think uh, you can see some spots in the golf course kind of starting to brown out a little bit. Um, obviously, this morning is still pretty soft. And what you see on that putt on 17? Take us through that. Uh, yeah, honestly, it was a pretty easy putt. I mean, you just had to hit it like seven feet. So I was really just kind of matching up the speed and, and where I was playing. I played it about a cup out right. I knew it would go left early and then uh, kind of sneak back to the right at the end. Yeah, after being the you pretty tense finish to second round. Did he change anything with your approach or anything else going to today? Yeah, I went uh, after the round last night. Uh, I went and kind of worked on a couple of things with my golf swing on the on the range, and I uh, was able to find a little something. So um, it's a crazy game. You know, one one or two swing thoughts here and there, and clean up a couple of things, and you never know what can happen. Are you able to talk with us about any adjustments? Or? Yeah, I mean, it's just something I've always kind of worked on. Uh, I like to fade the ball, and my lower body was kind of stalling out in the downswing, and so trying to feel like I rotate a little bit better through it. Well, on this golf course, is there is there a number you have in mind that keeps you within striking distance? How, I mean, how many shots would you think if you had to I don't know. Ball? I really don't. Um, it depends how the golf course plays. I think if it were to firm up a lot, I mean, you could probably come back from six or seven. But with it being soft, I think it's probably you got to be within two or three or four. Oh, really? Okay. Thank you. Sam, seven birdies and an eagle today. You've been near the top every like every event in terms of birdies per round. Is it the aggressiveness a, a mindset thing for you and your caddy? And how do you balance that on a course like this with so much so much risk? Um, I don't think there's a not really a lot of risk when you start the day 13 shots back. Um, you, know, you got to come out and make some birdies, right? So I knew coming into today uh, we were going to play pretty aggressive and we got we have nothing to lose. We're in 55th place. So if we shoot 74, I mean, who, who cares? Um, so might as well try to go shoot a really good number. Thanks. Sorry, go on. Oh, and on the 17th, on the putt on 17, when did, when do you start to think, OK, this might really go in here? Yeah, uh, probably there at the last three or four feet, I could kind of see, I got to read off Thomas, uh, his putt. And so I knew it was going to kind of sneak back to the right at the end. It was kind of left edge-ish with four or five feet to go. So I thought it probably had a pretty good chance. Sam, um, I'll just, it's a bit off topic. But I just sort of thought I'd ask, um, in the first round, in the second round, sort of darkness stopped, stopped play before everyone could get round, like on Thursday and yesterday. I was wondering if there was, if there was a reason for that or if you had anything to say about that. A reason for the darkness stopping play? Well, no. It's like, is 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 that an issue? Is that an issue with with, with slow play, or because not not everyone got round, even though it was sort of two days of perfect daylight? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a big field, yeah. uh, 144 guys. Um, so it is challenging sometimes with you know daylight to, to get all 144 guys around. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a you know it's a challenging golf course, um, and especially guys who are kind of around that cut number uh you know you don't you don't really want to rush there at the end so probably some guys who may have could have finished if they were you know either way in or way out uh but if you're around that cut number you know to come back this morning and kind of give yourself a better chance makes sense yeah thanks thanks Sam. all right thank, thank you, you. Thanks, Sam.